Hey guys, Captain Foley back with you for another unboxing, I guess. Um, this is a Captain Foley channel exclusive video. Um, the things have already been unboxed, but I got my latest shipment from Eagle Moss. I want to show you what I've got and what is going to be, what you can look forward to review-wise coming up very shortly. Um, so they finally sent me some stuff. I've had a little bit of problem with Eagle Moss as of late, um, just getting stuff I've requested. So nothing here I've requested. <laughs> One of them I want, which is cool. Uh, the other two, eh. Um, but I'll show you what, the, what I got here um, and just what you guys can expect review-wise coming up very shortly um, as a result. So I'm sorry there's been a kind of a hiatus on the reviews. Um, there are a lot of Eagle Moss ships that I do have that I haven't reviewed yet, which I probably should get to and some of the older stuff. Um, but this is some of the new stuff. They want to push their Star Trek Universe line, which is, in this case, probably specifically Picard. Um, but... Um, so yeah, we're going to take a look at what came in the box. It wasn't very much, but it is some cool stuff to take a look at. So, um, so yeah, first off, we got the uh, Picard, the USS Zheng He, Zheng He, Zheng He, I don't know, um, the cut and paste fleet. <laughs> um, um, so this this came in. Uh, I do like the boxes here. I'll be doing a full review of these, as I said, but I'll take them out right now. Take a quick look. Um, and you guys can kind of see, um, like I said, what to expect uh, coming up. So, so of course you got the the book, and then there's the the ship. So we'll be taking a review of this ship at some point. I mean, this one I might end up keeping, I'm not sure yet, but, um, yeah. And the new thing Eagle Moss is doing, which <coughs> honestly kind of irritates me, is they are sealing these with stickers, which makes it very, very difficult to cut them open and not ruin your box. So, not super, super pleased about that, but it is what it is. So next up here is the La Serena. Um, again, not one that I really was looking forward to having. Um, interesting enough design, I guess, but it's not really anything great. I mean, the books looks like it's got a lot of cool stuff in it. So when I do the review, I'll go through that and we'll take a look. But. Um, Here is La Serena, and I gotta say the colors are really bright and vibrant, but uh, overall, just kind of a. I mean, it's an interesting enough design. It's just not something I would have expected for Picard, you know. So anyway, we'll put that back. Um, so there'll be reviews of these coming, obviously. But um, yeah. Again, this one fared a little bit better when I was opening it. I like to rip some of the black off the box. I just had to use a magic marker and like re-add it. The next one is the one one of the ones that I actually wanted. And again, totally, totally butchered the the sticker here. I'm trying to get it open is just not pleasant. So Eagle Moss, stop doing that. That's why these are designed to lock in. So you don't have to worry about putting a goddamn sticker on so it doesn't open. Um, that's one of my complaints. This is the Romulan, or the antique Romulan Bird of Prey. It doesn't say antique here, but you, you get the point. Um, again, this is a really cool ship. This was great to, great to see in the card. And this is one that I actually did want because I'm a fan of this design. And this very much has like a you know, a Starfleet, or a Starfleet Command um, Volume 2 kind of feel to it, like a motion picture era Romulan Bird of Prey. So I'm looking forward to reviewing this one. And this is the one I'll definitely be keeping, holding on to, because I really love that bird on the bottom. It looks really cool. So there's that. And then there's the Introducing Star Trek Universe. And it 
it's got all of their all the stuff there. In the back it's got new it's got the discovery stuff and um Picard. So yeah, a few interesting things there. As far as ships go, like the Starfleet tug is kind of cool. But honestly, nothing I was really super, super stoked about uh, getting, so. But, you know, it's a new line, so that's cool. Got the Voyager J coming. Anyway, so, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at all this stuff when it comes in. Um, so, and lastly, what came with this is this, the Star Trek Universe Official Starships Collection. This is the binder for all the books, which I'll probably won't even use, honestly, I'll <laughs> keep them all in the boxes, but you got the little tabs there inside to put your little instruction booklets in. So, not a super great unboxing, um, but something I wanted to show you guys um, that I got, and I got a few other things as well, um, which I will be showing you guys at some point, um, some really interesting stuff from my buddy um, uh, Blappy, and yeah, I mean, just stay tuned the channel for that kind of stuff and both the Captain Foley personal channel and the uh, Trek Yards channel I'll be posting these reviews of these ships so if you're interested in that by any stretch of the imagination um, keep watching and uh, yeah anyway I think that's it for today so like I said if you want to make sure you see those make sure you subscribe to both channels um, Captain Foley personal channel and the Trek Yards channel and by all means, check out other videos uh, by me as well. I've done a lot of, every time I get a shipment from Eagle Moss, I unbox it. So, um, and show you guys. So anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.